In this video, I just would like to show you how you can pair a Bluetooth controller to your Raspberry Pi running RetroPie. Right here, in this is an instance, I am using a PS4 controller. I highly recommend using either this or a PS5 controller. Both are great. They work great with uh, RetroPie. But yeah, I'll be showing you how to do that. And it's very, very simple. So let's get going. Okay, now first thing is, make sure you have a keyboard that you can plug into one of the USB ports on the Raspberry Pi. And once you do that, just navigate to configuration and go to Bluetooth. Okay, now it, now we're here. And first thing you would wanna do is put your contr wireless controller in, into pairing mode. And how you do that is if you have a PS4 controller, like I do, just simultaneously press the PS button, which is the home button, and share at the same time. And after a few seconds, you should see a rapid um, blinking light. That's a good thing because it's in pairing mode. And just go to pair and connect and your device should show up. Okay, we are here. This will take us to all the devices that have been detected. In my case, my PS4 controller is this controller. So I'm gonna press enter. Your, Yours may may um, say something different, but if it does, just go along with it. Um, yeah. Now we're going to set up a dev rule. I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna press okay. And see, I already have an entry. So because I previously, prior to, to this video, I paired it. So yeah, it will prompt you to reboot. Okay, now that we're back at Emulation Station, it is time to map our controller that we just paired. So just go, so just go to the keyboard, press Shift, according to how you mapped it. And they go to uh, configure input space. One game pad. One game pad is connect is detected. Gee, that must be our paired Bluetooth device. Yep. And then just map it accordingly. D pad up. D pad down. D pad left. D pad right. You know. Start. Options. Select. Share and just map these buttons accordingly the way you want so yeah i mean that's basically it guys i mean it's pretty much self-explanatory like it's pretty cool like now the uh controller will function properly inside of any of the um eh, inside of any of the emulators and emulator cores. So yeah, it's pretty good. So and we have to make sure that hotkey enabled is well enabled and you go down and you go press OK and that will give you the default, you know, Start and select is um, the default. In other words, share and options. You press those two buttons in tandem with each other. They will exit you out of the emulator. So yeah. And that'll enable you to also load and save your game. Your games. But... That could only happen if you're launching a ROM with an, with an emulator core for RetroArch. So yeah, 
If you have any questions on that, just leave them in the comments. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Happy gaming.